To make your home stronger and safer against hurricanes, make sure the walls are built to the standards of the Bahamas Building Code. Timber walls are typically framed on the floor before being stood up into position. The frame is built of studs, blocking, two top plates, and two bottom plates. All framing must be pressure treated, of grade number two or better, and at least two by six in size. Studs are the vertical parts of the wall frame. They are spaced 16 inches apart from center to center. Studs connect to the double top plates and bottom plates. Blocking consists of horizontal pieces of pressure-treated wood that go between the studs. Blocking supports all horizontal edges of the wall sheathing plywood and significantly increases the stiffness of the overall wall assembly. They must be installed in a single row and not staggered as is commonly but incorrectly practiced. It is very important that all parts of the framing be level, which means exactly horizontal, or plumb, which means perfectly vertical. Everything must fit together snugly. This is important for you to check during construction. Sheathing is plywood that goes on the outside of the wall frame and adds strength. Plywood must be pressure treated and at least half an inch thick. Each sheet of plywood must be nailed to all framing that it is in contact with. All plywood edges must be nailed to framing. Use eight penny hot dipped galvanized or stainless steel nails spaced at six inches at the edges of the plywood and 12 inches elsewhere. For more information, please download the free Build Back Better manual by scanning this QR code. Ask your building control officer or a licensed engineer if you need more help. Remember to have the walls inspected by the Ministry of Works before continuing construction. All inspections are free in Abaco and Grand Bahama following Hurricane Dorian.